Alright, in this video tutorial we're going to go over the raw packet buffer side of the Ebony Blaster. kind of gives you a more raw interaction with the client and the server itself. It's, it's more for advanced users, but to start doing this we'll open up Ebony with Ebony Blaster. See, hooked successfully. Alright, now we'll go over to our packet buffer. And here's the raw data going in and out. So you can see sent and received here. Oh, got something here. Alright, so first off, I'll show you how to resend. Oh, here's something that was blocked. I auto block amulet messages so it doesn't spam it in your chat window. Um, I'll just show you how you can you can do this with sent and received or blocked and you can pass them through. So I'm going to select this pass this blocked packet and pass it through. You'll see um, up here and down here an amulet message come through now. So pass through. Bam. See that? And there's one down there. So you can see I, I resent both of these through. If you double click them, you can resend them through. See? Or you could just right click it and pass it through. Yeah. So you can resend yourself packets that were received or resend out packets that were sent. Um, we can get more in depth with this if we, we can go in with the packet modifier here so um, let's see let's get a packet that we can modify so I'm gonna right now I have another account logged in right here QQ and I'm gonna send him a message and record it so. All right. clear this out only show outgoing that way I can make sure I can decipher which packet is which. And now we'll hit send. There we go. You can see it in there. I'm going to uncheck all these so I don't capture any more outgoing. Now if we go to the person we sent it to, oh, we got a mail. That's the exact mail we just sent. So now say I want to resend it out, I can double click it. I know that this one's it. You see the content something, 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 username, QQ, QQ, title, whatever. So if I do this, if I just pass it through again, oh, I got another mail. Same message. Let's go ahead and take this mail message and go get a little bit more in depth with it and show it in the packet modifier. I can actually take this packet, I can modify it and save it or just leave it as it is and save it and use it later on. Um, with the packet modifier you can see the raw text here, the hex on the left, and the raw text on the right. And then over here is just the, the text chart from 0 to 255. Um, so you can see the conversions from character decimal and hex because the line modifier works in hex so you need to figure out the conversion for the text to hex so if we go in here um, see how it's the message is the title of the message is whatever we'll, we'll change that it's just like a hex editor so you won't be able to change the length in, of the data in the packet but you will be able to edit the data on each line so we got whatever starts at see W, that's a lowercase w. I can verify that that's where it starts by going to a lowercase w, which is 77. 77. So 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. So we're going to start by changing that to, oops, um, what's H? Let's see what H is. 48. 48. And then I. And 
and then the rest of it will just change to spaces. Spaces are 20 in hex. Then apply line modification. There you go. It just replaced all that. There's still a little bit more in here. Whatever. So, R. Put that to a space, too. Now we modified it. I'm going to save it. My new mail. That way, if I want to, I can reload this later on. And now we have an option to resend it and send it in a loop or just resend once. If we send it in a loop, we can modify the interval on which it's sent at. So if we look over here, here's the person I'm going to be sending it to. And I'm just going to send it once. Oh, I hit it twice. So there you go. See, I modified the subject line to high of that packet from whatever to high. Now say I want to loop that out. Watch how fast we can send it. We'll, we'll set it at one interval and loop send it. Now let's resend it. We'll be able to watch right here. Watch how fast it goes. Ooh, we've already got over 100, 200. Now I'm going to stop it. 319 in that amount of time. So it goes pretty quick. I don't condone doing this, but, you know, to each its own. But that this is just one usage of this packet modifier. There's also a packet sender where you can't modify the packet, but you can loop out and resend the packets uh, by selecting it, show packet sender. Or you can show and add to packet sender. There we go. But you can also go through the list and manually add them. Like, boop. Like I could add that again. Add a few times in there. There we go. Now we can set our interval, same thing, and just start resending. see the, the mail coming in so this is one little option you can do there um, if you want to get more in depth with creating your own custom events like you could make an event of an emailer to email every so often at a specified interval by doing this we can go here to our custom section this can handle any type of packet so it's completely dynamic in what you can automate in this program. And we go here. Um, go. And I'm just going to record another message that I'm sending. Dude. Message. Alright. Now, you don't want to enable this until you're ready to send because it, it'll capture the first sent event out from the client and log it here and then not log anymore until you recheck this so I'm ready to send it check that off and then hit send bam it captured my mail message so now you can see it if we want to look at it in the raw packet modifier we can still do that and here it is modify it and resend it out but right now, defaultly, we have our resend interval to 2. I'm just going to send it to 1. There it is. So every 1 minute, it's going to resend this mail message once I check this off. So let's give it a go. I've got it checked off. So within a minute, over on this screen, you should see it start coming through again. There's the one that I snipped right there but you'll see more come in. Just so you can see that. All right. Shortly we should see... Oh, there it did. It just came in. Dude. There we are. So, depending on what you have the interval set at, you can have it auto-resend stuff. And this can be done for troop events, any type of events, but with this program for the common types of events like comfort, levy, troops, building, I automatically split them up to keep an organization so it makes it easier for the user 
to know which are which unless they're creating their own custom. You can also come here and just say, uh, you can modify the caption. And it's a content, so our message to user QQ and our title. So we'll just leave it at that. There we go. So that's that's pretty much the basics of that. I mean, you can get more in depth with it by sniffing other packets and uh, you know having them automate in this custom event list right here. But if you have any questions, just feel free to go to our forum and um, comment and let us know what you think, or if you have any questions on how to do any specific packet that that you're looking to grab or automate. So just let us know. Um, if not, just enjoy.